Testing, testing, testing. Testing, testing. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three, testing. All right, so testing right now. Testing. Testing. One, two, three. So testing right now. Testing. Testing. All right. It's working. Cool, man. All right. So I got the Iron Monger. It's a really awesome figure. I just wanted to share a little bit with it. Um, share with you guys. I think it's an amazing figure, actually, for um a Marvel Legends figure. It's it's just amazing. So let's see. All right. So you can see right here, it is a really good uh, representation of the Iron Monger. One of my favorite um, Iron Man, I guess you could call it a suit, right? I mean, Iron Man suit, it's not it's Iron Monger suit, but it, you know, it looks pretty awesome. You gotta admit. Um, I got this at Amazon for a really good deal. I got it for like $65 or something with a discount. And um, what what I really like about this figure is that the sculptor, the designer, gave it a um, what what I call a knob crunch joint right here. So as you can see, you can really um, go in at that. And um, to be honest with you, like that's one of my favorite joints in a figure because if you can do that, it also can do this. It can to sideway with that kind of uh, articulation at the torso you can really pose it really well so it's really awesome really awesome um one thing that a lot of reviewers missed is that this little turret right here the the um rocket it actually moves see yeah there's like a little hinge in the joint and you can move it all you want so a lot of people miss that when they did the review on this guy um this guy is so awesome uh i know that he probably i know that some customized customizers out there are gonna probably paint him and it would be awesome to paint him like i was thinking of painting him because it would be really uh it wouldn't be that hard to paint him you know, and um, I bet you some customizers are going to use like metallics and this thing is going to look amazing. Uh, I also predict that maybe this, this is a really beautiful design. I think this design is better than the Hulkbuster Iron Man suit. I think that this is a more beautiful design, but that's just my opinion. But um, I think the way the company 3030 is going um they'll probably make this guy too and i'm hoping they'll make him three zero made an amazing um they haven't released it yet but they show the pictures of the hulk buster and it has an amazing uh articulation it has incredible uh, all their all their all their robots all the th all the mech robots that make have incredible articulation in the torso so they're super poseable so this guy I think 3-0 is going to make this guy. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to share my two cents on this. This is an amazing figure. Um, whatchamacallit, this guy right here, amazing face sculpt, really good. I'm going to use this body with my uh, X-Men figures. I recently uh, started buying some of my X-Men back because I sold some because I got the Sentinel. So this guy... His body will go really well with um, my Professor X um, in a chair. It'll look really nice. But I'm I'm just saying I'm just saying what I you know whatever I comes into my head. This is a really nice head sculpt. This is really really nice. Absolutely, it looks just like him. 
he's got something here. I don't know what that is. Uh, here comes with the uh, Tony Stark um, heart. Proof that Tony Stark has a heart. And the suitcase actually opens up. I'm holding him like this. It actually opens. But the heart doesn't fit in there. Well, maybe if you force it, but not really. But um, highly recommend this figure. Uh, this is a great, great figure. Uh, the joint systems are awesome. It's got a ratchet joint here, which is kind of different. Uh, you know, so so if I if I were to complain about something, it's the um, the ankle articulation. It's good. It's got a rocker. And it's good, but it doesn't like uh, push down too much. I'm afraid of pushing it down. I might break something in there, but it just doesn't um, go down that much. But it looks like it can by the joint right here. Um. Just an amazing figure. I love it. Iron Monger. I just wanted to do this live show. Uh, I was testing out some new equipment uh, for my live streaming. And um, yeah, it looks pretty awesome. Pretty awesome figure. Um, I hope 3 0 makes this figure just like they're making the whole cluster in 112 scale. I will get it in a heartbeat. And also, if um, they make uh, some g1 transformers i will get it too get them too but they're not they're just making like other transformers and i can't really afford to get those you know so i just get what i really really like um this is a beautiful figure man beautiful figure uh this is my little hydrant so 112 scale i saw somebody else sculpt uh a hydrant uh better than this this one that i did it was amazing detail, uh, but they did it in 3D. So I did this in uh, clay, um, and it was really hard to sculpt any smaller than this. So, But the guy I saw do the hydrant, amazing. Uh, hands down, the best fire hydrant I've ever seen. Realistic as hell. Uh, I forgot his name. I think it's Terraformer, maybe. Yeah, he's amazing. Okay, so this was a test of equipment and doing our little small Ironmonger video. I love this guy. This is my one of my favorite Marvel figures. I wish I could paint him, but I don't have the time or the skills because um, I, exactly I don't know how to avoid paint rub. I used to do some custom work. Um, I, I could probably get away with it, um, but... Um, I'm just gonna leave him how it is. He's really nice, and I hope that 30 may see um, the version that I want, um, and I will get that. Um, but this is just an amazing figure. It's really heavy. It has a lot of plastic. You get a lot for your money's worth with this figure, and this is this is just um, this is just proof uh, that Hasbro uh, is rocking. Man. Just look at this figure. This is proof that Hasbro is rocking. The Sentinel they just released and this. I think it's just amazing. All right, so I'm going to go. And I have a really good October, Halloween. I intend to have a really good one. And um, watch a lot of movies and everything. And keep collecting. Keep buying your figures, dudes. Keep doing what you love. Um, and I'm out of here. <laughs>